Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I wanted to do a video uh, on how to use uh, different metal polishes. Uh, I only have one uh, type of metal polish, but basically they all work the same way. Uh, this video was requested by um, LSU Tigers 1010. Uh, he had, I, I think I mentioned it uh, on my um, one of my newer videos, and so you know he was just wondering how it works. Um, this is uh, Flitz brand metal polish. Uh, there's tons and tons of different metal polishes out there in the market. Uh, for some reason, as far as the knife industry goes, Flitz is uh, pretty popular. It seems to work very nice on uh, on knife blades. Um, but you know, anything as long as it's uh, metal polish, you know, made for metal, I'm sure it'll work fine on your knives. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, though, is that you want to. I'm using this uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool Rolock um, as an example, just for for this video. Blade's kind of dirty, I you know. For this one specifically, you, you I touched the blade a lot, so you know, in using this, so it's kind of dirty and needs a, needs a cleaning. Uh, I could probably actually just clean this and it'd be okay, but for the purpose of this video, I'll actually uh, polish it up to show you how this works. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, Flitz is uh, generally um, you know what's what's liked uh, over other brands, but they all do basically the same thing. Uh, how it works is it, it basically it's a cleaner and it's a um, uh, almost like a compound, like uh, if you're familiar with buffing, uh, sometimes people will sharpen a knife on a buffing wheel, and what they do is they put this buffing paste on. And basically, imagine like almost sand, but each grit of sand being so tiny it's almost powder. It's kind of like what this is. There's uh, some heavy-duty cleaners in here, as well as that um, that like powder. Uh, and what that does is it actually kind of scrubs. And you know, I'm talking about like a a minute scale you know you wouldn't you can't physically see this it's just a liquid um, but that's basically what it's doing um, and what's good about the uh, the flits as well as other metal polishes is that this actually um, protects your blade uh, so once you put this on once I polish it up it's gonna clean it it's gonna make it look nice um, but it's also gonna seal in the pores on the metal okay to prevent rust in the future uh, a couple things I want to mention first of all if you're gonna use your knife for food preparation Okay, i.e. a camp knife, um, kitchen knife, don't use this, okay? This is toxic. In fact, when you're done, uh, you know, using this, you want to wash your hands, just be careful. Uh, it's toxic. You cannot um, ingest this, okay? So, again, if you have a knife that's multi-purpose and you're going to be cutting some kind of food with it, you know, um, you, don't want to, you don't want to do this, okay? Because it could be poisonous. Um, but for, you know, regular use knives, uh, you know, it's totally fine. Uh, now, what I have here besides the actual polish, and by the way, this is roughly ten dollars. I for this size tube of uh, flits, you could find this on a lot of different uh, um, online knife stores, as well as uh, maybe even in uh, gun section. You know, on your in your hunting shop stuff like that. Uh, I actually got this for free. I won this in a contest about three years ago on Blade Forms in the Battle Song section. Uh, you had to basically write a story having to do with Battle Songs, a, a fictitious story. And uh, first place got this really nice old um, Manila um, battle song. And second place got Flitz, and I came in second. So kind of proud. This is actually still, this tube is still going after, like I said, like two years. And I use this uh, kind of often on my larger knives. But anyway, what we don't want to do is get either a little rag or I have just some toilet, toilet paper, um, some bath tissue, I guess some people say. Uh, basically, just fold it up, bunch it up. So you have a, a good little kind of pad. Um, and I kind of get like this almost in the corner. And then you want to just put a tiny bit of this on there. And this stuff goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot. Put a tiny little dab just on the end. That's more than enough. Put this uh, cap back on. Now, again, you want to be very careful when you're doing this because you're basically you're rubbing this down on the blade. Uh, obviously, if you're not paying attention or if you're going fast and you rub the blade, you're going to cut yourself pretty bad. So you want to be very conscious of how close you are to the edge. You know, start off slow. So basically, just putting this down, okay, getting a nice even coat. You see here, kind of smearing it on. And what I do is when I have that initial um, bit on the whatever I'm using, a rag or whatever, I'll put it on both sides just to kind of evenly get that distributed. I'll come back to the front. And I just do small circles, okay. Just wiping this down, moving down the blade, be, again being very careful not to rub the edge. And that's also why you get kind of a pad here. So if I do kind of hang over, it'll cut into the paper for the most part, it won't cut into my finger. 
Um, but you just, you know, start off nice and slow. Just rubbing that in. Flip it over to the other side. You could do um, long strokes if you want. Again, just be very careful of the edge. Basically, you're just doing this over and over again. Flipping back and forth. That's basically it. You just you keep going. You can uh, you see here the paper's getting pretty dirty. Uh, you can kind of fold this in to get a fresh edge, and that'll actually wipe off uh, more of the excess that's on your blade and continue buffing it down towards the metal. Flip it over. Same thing on the side. Basically, you're just repeating this process. Not too hard, and again, you don't need to mu you don't need much for this this little blade. I mean, a tiny, tiny dot is more than uh, sufficient. Sometimes um, I'll even get a uh, Q-tip and I'll put it on the tip of a Q-tip uh, to get down in this kind of area down here, and and actually towards the edge I'll do that as well. So my finger is nowhere near that edge, and if you know if it cuts in the Q-tip, you know, big deal. <laughs> you know, at least you're not getting cut. And what's cool is if you have really minute scratches, just like if you were buffing, you know, a paint job on a car, um, the buffing compound itself, in this case being the Flitz Metal Polish, uh, it'll actually fill in some of those really light scratches, so it almost take them away. Uh, you know, you won't see them anymore. Uh, I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, you do not want to polish up any kind of blade that has a finish on it. If you got a black coated blade, you don't need metal polish because there's no metal to polish. Your, you know, you have that coating. Same goes for bead blasted knives. Uh, so your Kershaw uh, knives, like the Leak and Chive uh, Scallion, those are all bead blasted. So those have a finish already on the blade. It's not bare metal. Um, so there's no need to do this to them, them as well. Uh, the reason they have those finishes is the same reason why I'm doing this. Really is to just protect that blade and uh, keep it from being exposed to the elements. So, like I said, not only is this uh, cleaning it, but it's also sealing in the uh, little pores on the metal uh, to prevent uh, rust in the future. So that's basically it. I mean, I would keep doing this and doing this for probably about five or ten minutes. Um, you know, and then eventually just uh, keep getting clean spots and there you have it. I mean, that's pretty... You could still make out the scratches but you see how reflective that is. There's there's outside <laughs> the trees, my ceiling, and so forth. So um, there you go. That's uh, Flitz metal polish or metal polish in general. I just happen to be using the uh, the Flitz. So that's it. It's really simple. Um, of course, I took eight minutes showing you how to do it. <laughs> Probably could have been a two minute video, not even. Uh, but I guess I'm kind of like that. I, I talk and which I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to zip it and let you go. So th thanks for watching. I hope the video was enjoyable. Have a good day.